Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, all right, all my beautiful, wonderful people, Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. I hope I reach as many people as possible that resonate with this message. This is for all my beautiful, wonderful Virgos. Let's go ahead and ground. Releasing any negative energy, only welcoming that good, positive energy. All right, give me some of that good stuff. Let's see what's going on here. And I do all the signs. So I just do like whoever supported me the most as I am coming back. And I wasn't getting that much love for the Vir Virgos, but I was asked, do I do Virgo reading? So let's go ahead and start it off. And let's see. Let's see. First thing, I'm going to use my Hip Hop he Clean Oracle deck. Let's see what we have here on this beautiful Monday. Passion. Okay. Passion. And you know, like, this is passion and SZA is, I love her. I love her, but some people don't, right? Some people call her, like, um, a, a person that really does, like, the, what is it called? Like, like, the mumble singing or whatever. But it doesn't matter because she found her audience and she's absolutely beautiful. I love her. I love her creativity. I love her, everything about her. So there's some passion that you have behind something, but it may be somebody second guessing it. Like not even second guessing it like because it's not from you, but it's like you got some naysayers around you, okay? You got some naysayers around you. So some people don't believe in this passion that you have, okay? We have peace. You're looking for your peace in your life. You're looking for uh, just like a soft, like a soft, soft girl era, soft man era, like however you want to say it, okay? You're just looking for where you can just kick off your shoes and relax your feet, party up, like really just take a time to just relax, relate, and release, really taking time that you can just feel comfortable where you don't have to worry about anything, where you're not constantly reminded and thinking things are on your mind, really just take a time where you can just like sit back and chill, if you will. So you're looking for that energy. You're looking for that space. You're looking for that time in your life, but there's been a lot of disruption. Self-esteem. There, there's something you've been working on and that's your self-love. And that's very important. Taking care of yourself is very important. If you can't, I oftentimes say this, it don't matter matter if you're a brother, sister, uncle, cousin, uh, auntie, no matter what you are, daughter, mama, if you're not taking care of yourself, then anybody else that, you know, you have this cup and you're pouring it out and pouring it out and pouring it out. But anybody else that needs something to be poured out of that cup won't have any of that, that to be pulled out of the cup if your cup ain't full, okay? So it's really about putting that energy back into yourself. If you have been feeling... Um, I don't, y'all, y'all, if you're new here, I make up my own words. So if you have been feeling depressional lately, then it's really like in the energy where you need to go off into yourself, where you really need to focus on yourself, where you really need to, um, just look for guidance through the most high. And no, I'm not no medical doctor, but I know that the Lord God has done some amazing things. Okay. So, so you need to listen. Okay. And your defense is up now. So you have been in situations that caused you to have to fight. And I'm getting, I had to fight my mother. I had to fight my dad. And I'll be down. So it's, it's really like you had to fight hard your whole life. You've been fighting your whole life. Okay? And I'm getting all my life. Grinding all my life. So, so it's definitely like an energy you've been working your whole life. You, you really had to, like, fight for yourself. You really, like, I'm getting an ugly duckling. But I don't mean, like, you, you could be the most beautiful person in the in the world. It's not like that. It's just, like, um, you're, you, um, like, ugly duckling energy, like the, the, the stepchild or, like, the, the middle child syndrome or any of that shit like that, right? Because oftentimes you're forgetting about, oftentimes people are overlooking you, oftentimes people are not reciprocating, oftentimes people are taking advantage, and I'm getting, like, some childhood hurt some childhood trauma. You've always had to fight for yourself because it's like you didn't have nobody to truly believe in you, so you had to believe in yourself. And people could have taken that a different way. Some people could have taken it like as promiscuity. Some people could have taken it as like you like um, acting out, behavioral issues. Some people could have taken it as whatever they may have taken it as, but it doesn't matter, right? It, it just looked like to me that you had a bad like 
not really reputation. People had a bad reputation of you, um, but you were none of that. You were absolutely none of that. You were definitely this angel. Always have been, always will be, but people were not willing to see that because of some things that were shown outwardly, and that could have just been exactly this. You rebelling because of some shit that you've gone through. It's like, you can beat me up, you can punch me, you can throw shit at me, you can, like, like do all of these things to me. And I'm getting um, acid on the face. You can do all of these things for me, and then whenever I come out, and I'm, and I'm an advocate, whenever I come out and I'm sharing my story, whenever I come out and I'm really, like, showing others still how to do it, it, it is, like, amazing. I'm, I'm sorry for anybody that, if that's happened, if you know anybody that that's happened to, you are amazing. I, I just got, like, this va very graphic image. So, so you know what? It, you realized that you had to change a lot of things, right? You had to change a lot of things. And now you're living your life completely different. Now you're giving yourself grace, right? It's important to give yourself grace. Now you're giving yourself grace and now you're understanding that, like, it was never your fault. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're definitely just taking a turn for the best. And you're definitely just going into the light, right? You're doing work on with yourself. You're doing work. And you're understanding the quality over quantity. It's never a rush. It's always your own time. I don't care if you're 60, 70, 80, 90, Okay. I don't care if you're 30, 40, 25, 18, 20, 25, 30. It don't matter what age you are. It's at your own rate, right? You you never get done with learning yourself. We have the eight of cups. You're withdrawing from a lot. Anything that's not truly for you, anything that, um, you know, did not reciprocate that same energy, you're leaving that shit behind. We have the ace of cups. So you have new life here. You have new creative creative um inspirations. You have new beginnings. You're very compassionate about that. And your cup overflows. We're, we're at a time where you may have felt like uneasy in the past. Now you know your cup overflows. Now you know not to pour it out. And past, present, future, you know how it goes. So you're working on this. So it, you you no longer have this ang misdirected anger or rage that you may have had in the past. Now you know how to direct it. Now you know where to put that energy into. And you're being very successful with that. We have the three of cups. So you're really just, you know, focused on yourself. You're really just focusing on the happy times. You're very much so a sensitive person. So you're you're working on yourself. And whenever I say sensitive, you can't have everybody up in your energy. Period. You can't. You can feel weak or different or just feel like not put together if everybody's up in your energy. We have the six of wands. We have you winning. We have you getting gifts. We have you um, getting good news. We have you being able to win this battle, win this fight that you've ha had to constantly do. It's your time. It's your time. It's your <laughs> Now we have the two of wands. So you are definitely progressing. You're definitely um, seeing something that, you know, you want in the future. And it's coming to fruition because you are able to up overcome obstacles. You are able to be consistent. You are able to Go ahead and still continue to put out that good energy even whenever you weren't receiving that good energy. Okay, now. Now, let's go ahead and get a couple more. Actually, actually I'm going to go ahead and go to the last advice. What we're going to use now, Spirit? Starseed. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the Starseed Oracle deck. What is this? You're building. You've asked why a whole bunch of times. And you realize there's nobody but you. Nobody but you. You and the most high. Y'all y'all got this. You just got to buckle in and continue to work because that's what you have been doing. And you've been doing that all your life. All, all your life you've been fighting. And, and you're realizing just to redirect that energy. We the haters. Starseed Oracle deck. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. So you're realizing birth as a portal it's like since you have been born, since before you have been born, the most high the creator has always had a special path for you. And oftentimes those that have the special path, it's hard. It's hard as fuck. Let's keep it real. But you are this person that is able to get through it. And as you're getting through it, there's a lot of blessings coming towards you. And just know that you are chosen because it has been extra hard. And and, and it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's up from here, messenger. 
Maybe you're getting something from this message right now. Maybe you, um, but, but this is, there's something in your life that's soon to come to balance and harmony. So this is absolutely amazing for all my beautiful, wonderful Virgos. You have an absolutely wonderful day on purpose. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace, love, and namaste.